In this session, we're going to be covering the following. How I use Google Drive to share student data with class teachers. How the teachers can track weekly progress and store the information for easy access. And how you can use DocHub to write on PDF files. Every time you make up a new classroom, in your drive, a classroom folder attached to that classroom will automatically be made. So these are all my classrooms and they all have their own folders. So what I do is in each folder, I like to put the information about that class. So if I go into my EdTech demo classroom, I've got a couple of folders in here already. So maybe I'd make a new folder up and I'll call it student information and create. So this is where I'll put all the information about the particular class and I will share it with that class teacher. So the information I'm going to find, I'm going to go into new and I have some documents that I'd like to upload. So I'm going to upload a folder And my folder is called example data and I'm going to upload and there's going to be five files and I'm going to click upload and the files have now uploaded and it's been created so that's good Put that down and if I go into my example data in here these are the kinds of information that I would put in so we have from class charts, we have a seating plan for that class. So every time the class come in, we know where the students are going to be sitting. We have a reading range for that class from accelerated reader. So we, the teacher can just click on here just to check their reading ages and their um, ZPD data. And also I put the growth data report in here as well. Um, so this will be term one's growth data. And then I'll put term two, term three's data in there as well. Each week, I will also put a new sheet containing the up-to-date reading practice targets. So here we have one for the 5th of October. So the teacher would have had a look at that with their class when they were in on the 5th of October. And now we also have one here for the 12th of October. So the teacher will come in and this will be here waiting for them. And they can just click. And this will give them the data for that week. So if they open with dot cups this will give them the opportunity to be able to use these tools to make notes for their next lesson so when they come in in a week's time they'll know what they've spoken to the students about so let's have a look so this is targets and um, the names have been taken out here because obviously this is for example data so they could have a look down here they'd have already had a look at the 5th of october's data and they can see which students have made progress and which students they still may need to speak to um, as to why they haven't taken a star reading test yet. So maybe they might want to use the highlighting tool to highlight the students that haven't taken a quiz yet this term. And they can make a key somewhere to say that that's why they've spoken to those students. They may also want to use the symbols up here. So there's a star up here. So they may want to pick a few star readers of the week people that they've done exceptionally well this week and they can make them star readers and um, they may want to use the question mark here because they had to speak to the student about something and if they want to make notes they can just open up here and type notes in about the student. This is an excellent way of keeping a paperless office where the teachers can look back next week and see what they said to the students last week. So now you need to save this document. So go to the arrows and download and drive and update existing um, and revision and export and that will save the document show in drive and their document will be there with all the changes that you made to it and go back to our folder and all the changes will have been saved. So next week when they come in, they can have a look at this document here, see who they need to speak to and look at the new document that will be sitting there waiting for them when they come into the library and they will see um, the students' improvements. 
I use this for all of our accelerated reader data and the seating plan. But even if you don't use accelerated reader, any data or any sheets that you want to keep, this is a really good place to keep them. So what I need to do now is just to have shared the teacher in, which I would have done obviously at the beginning um, of the year. So we just click in share, so search for the teacher and done. And the teacher will be able to access that first as well. Obviously you would do that the first part of the year. Now the teacher has been shared in the drive, they will be able to come in at any point and access that data as well. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening.